People believe all sorts of different things about issues facing the world. But what do Christians believe about life after death? The current pandemic with its tragic toll has made us face up to an issue that we do not like to think about, death. The way in which COVID-19 has struck down numerous healthy individuals has come as a sobering reminder that we are completely powerless in the face of death. Death, after all, is the ultimate statistic, the only certainty in life. But despite its inevitability, we try and put it out of our minds. We don't like to engage with this ultimate issue. And yet death casts its grim shadow over everything. Maybe you're painfully aware of this reality. You find yourself in the midst of grief and sorrow. And so as uncomfortable as this issue is, we have no choice but to face up to it. When it comes to life after death, left to ourselves, we can only speculate because none of us have died. So we don't know what lies beyond the grave. Is atheism right? That's it. We simply cease to exist. What about Hinduism? Are we reincarnated? Or what about Buddhism or modern day spiritualism? Do we move to some kind of higher plane of existence? We can speculate all day long, but we just be guessing. Imagine life as a waiting room. One day we'll all pass through the door marked death. And what lies beyond is unknown. In order to find out what lies beyond, what we need is for someone to go through the door marked death and then to come back and tell us. And that person alone has authority to speak into this issue. They're the one we should listen to and trust. Well, the Bible affirms that Jesus alone is such an expert. He is the only person to have taken on death and one. At the heart of a Christian faith lies the most astonishing claim that Jesus Christ was killed on a Roman cross. His lifeless body was placed in a tomb, but three days later Jesus rose again physically from the dead and was seen by over 500 people at different times and locations. And so Jesus alone has power and authority over death. Therefore, he alone is the one we should listen to and trust. Now, at this point, let me make clear that Jesus never makes light of death. When he was at the funeral of a friend, he wept. It grieved the Lord Jesus to see the effects of death. I'm sure you've had the experience of standing beside the graveside of a loved one and something within you screams, this should not be. The Bible makes clear that death was not a part of God's original good creation. And that's because death is not just a physical problem, but a spiritual problem. In other words, we don't die simply because our bodies wear out and our hearts pack up. Instead, death is a deserved penalty for our sin and guilt before our creator. Death is the way in which God draws a line under our rebellion and summons us to judgment and condemnation. But wonderfully, after Jesus had died for sins on the cross, he gloriously rose again. And so the resurrection reveals that sin has been dealt with. Death has been defeated and the grave conquered. Because Jesus is victorious, all who trust in him can share in his victory. They can die in confidence knowing that death is not the end. There is a life beyond the grave. In John chapter 11, Jesus says these incredible words. I am the resurrection and the life. The one who believes in me will live even though they die. Do you see what Jesus is saying? When it comes to your death, 
trust me. Trust me with your death. I've got through death myself and I will get you safely through. Don't trust yourself to luck. Don't put it out of your mind, but put your hand into mine because the past certainty of a resurrection provides a future guarantee. And so let me once again say, because Jesus has risen from the dead, he will deliver all those who trust in him safely through death into God's eternal kingdom, where death and mourning and crying and pain will be no more. And not into some kind of ethereal existence, but instead enjoying perfect new bodies to enjoy a perfect new creation. There is eternal security because Christ has risen. When I was uh, about 12, I had to do a, a project at school about old age. And it involved interviewing older family members and friends about the challenges of old age and the prospect of dying. And look back, it was a, a slightly morbid topic. But I asked my granddad, how do you feel about dying? He responded, I don't look forward to the process of dying, but I'm not afraid of death. I immediately blurted out, why? Why aren't you afraid of death? Well, I'll never forget what he said to me. He looked at me and said, Mark, Jesus Christ has risen from the grave. You see, my granddad was utterly convinced that the resurrection of Jesus Christ was a fact of history, guaranteeing that he too would be raised a new life. And this explained why in the final few days and hours of his life, when he lay in a hospital bed in pain and discomfort, he was marked by a wonderful peace and assurance. I wonder, what do you make of Jesus' words? I am the resurrection and the life. The one who believes in me will live even though they die. And whoever lives by believing in me will never die. Do you believe it? Now, this is a huge topic, but let me suggest two ways that you can take this further. Firstly, why don't you check out for yourself the evidence for the resurrection of Jesus Christ? There's a great little book entitled The Case for Easter. Uh, at uh, the bottom, you'll find some links of how to get a copy. Secondly, all of our services are currently online. We'd love you to join us. Again, see the links below for our YouTube channel and our website details. Will you trust your life and your death to the one who is the resurrection and the life?